Uh, I was uh, like, I, I got married to a woman that's not a geek, though, so that causes some problems. I'm a huge geek. She's not. The main time that causes problems is whenever I bring a movie home from Blockbuster, because I always get really into it, you know? Like, I think this is the best thing I've ever seen. And she's always just bored beyond her mind, you know? She, she could not care less about what is happening. But she's figured out how to trick me, because she's realized that if she seduces me, she doesn't have to watch the rest of the movie. And... <laughs> And I can always see that moment where she's kind of weighing her options a little bit. She's like, oh, this movie's so boring. Oh, my husband looks like that. I... This is a conundrum if ever I've seen one. Oh, Star Trek V, that's it, I'm doing it. Like... And, you know, that's cool because I enjoy the sex, but in the back of my mind, I'm kind of wondering what happened in the movie, you know? <laughs> like, oh, let's go. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, I got to keep at this. Um, but, like, I figured out how to make this work to my advantage because now, whenever I'm feeling kind of frisky, instead of flowers, I just bring home science fiction. Just, <laughs> hey, honey, happy Valentine's Day. I brought home Battlestar Galactica season one. Ooh, a whole season, huh? Rawr. But sometimes it backfires because, like, I want to get laid, so I bring home a movie, and she ends up liking it. I'm like, oh, this is terrible, right? Yeah, let's do this. And, oh, no, this is kind of cool. Yeah, this is awesome. What happens next? Like, really? This, this is Highlander 2. Um, <laughs> the people that made this don't like it. This... <laughs> <laughs> 